Here is the hopper that holds the raw material. The plastic raw material is usually small round beads or cylindrical pellets. We'll use the terms pellets and granules to refer to all forms of plastic raw material. This is the injection cylinder, the screw drive motor, the barrel, the nozzle area, the control panel, the two platens which hold the mold, and the clamp mechanism. To understand how an injection molding machine works, we'll use a 3D model. Again, this is the hopper. This is the hydraulic injection cylinder. Here is the screw drive motor, the barrel, the nozzle, the platens, the mold, and the clamp. The plastic raw material is stored in the hopper. From the hopper, the plastic falls onto the rotating screw, where it is conveyed forward by the flights of the screw and is gradually melted as it moves forward. When the set volume of plastic ahead of the screw accumulates, the screw stops rotating. Then the screw, acting as a plunger, pushes the melted plastic out of the injection barrel, through the nozzle, and into the mold. This is the fill phase of the process. After the cavities fill to 90 to 95 percent of volume, a little more plastic is forced in. This is called the packing phase of the process. Packing compresses additional plastic into the cavity. The screw is held forward under pressure until the plastic in the gates freezes. This traps the plastic inside the cavities.